Daniel Richardson. I'm a speech language pathologist who specializes in lactation and infant and toddler feeding development. Over the years, I've helped thousands of parents navigate challenges that arise with their child's feeding development. But as I spent time with more and more parents, I realized how much of the information I'm sharing could benefit all children, yet it's not really readily accessible to all parents. So I'm going to share some tips with you on some things you can do to get your child off to the best start with their feeding. All right, you guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit more about positioning. And specifically, I want to talk to you guys about um, why I think an adjustable footrest on your baby's high chair is a non-negotiable. Um, so many of the high chairs on the market, including our IKEA chair, it, it doesn't offer foot support for your baby. Um, and if you haven't already watched my video about um, high chair positioning and why your baby needs to be supported and how that leads to optimal feeding, I want you to go back and watch it because this topic leads right into that. But the, you know, the summary of that video is that we want your baby to be really supported. We don't want them to have to work really hard um, to keep themselves upright while they're eating. And so the reason a, an adjustable footrest is so important is because your baby's feet need a stable place to land. Um, and the optimal position for your baby is 90-90-90. So we want the hips and the legs at a 90 degree angle. We want the knees at a 90 degree angle. And we want the, the ankle. So like the feet want to be flat for your ankle, your baby's ankle to be at a 90 degree angle. So as you can see, some high chairs, they, they come with footrests, but they're not adjustable. So as your child grows, it may or may not be at the proper height for them to achieve that position. So the great thing about the um, Yeah Baby Good footrest on the IKEA high chair is that it's adjustable. So as your baby gets bigger, as your baby gets taller, you can adjust the footrest. You can um, move it up while they're little, and then you'll be able to move it down as they grow. And that way they can achieve that 90-90 position at any age. So hang in tight because I'm going to talk a little bit about why the footrest matters. Um, and it's not just about babies. Honestly, it's about all of us and the way we sit when we eat. Um, we all want a place for our feet to land. And I'm going to show you why. So hang tight. Okay. So what I really want to show you guys is how all of us benefit from having some foot support on our chairs. Um, the best way that I can ever describe this to a parent is if you're sitting at like a high top um, countertop stool or say you go out to a restaurant and you're sat at a, a high top table, right? You may not notice it, but when you go to sit on a chair like this, you will sit and you will immediately find the foot support and put your feet there. And the reason that you do that is because even though as adults we, we have the stamina to um, hold ourselves up with our, our trunks, if your feet are dangling, you can notice an immediate difference. You have to kind of tighten your core up and you have to do a lot more work in your upper body to maintain this position. So when you go and sit in a chair like this, you will automatically find the foot support. Um, and so that is an important piece of the puzzle, like I said, for everyone. But if you think about your baby and the potential that they are a new sitter, um, maybe they're still working on some of those core muscles, the, the support will be especially important. Um, we don't want them to fatigue while they're sitting and eating. We want them to be as supportive as they possibly can while they're eating so that they can really focus on the new skill that they're developing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned from something from this video. I want to remind you that what I share with you are tools. Um, there's no hard fast rule for every single baby in the world and no one knows your baby as much as you do. So trust your instincts. You're doing a great job.